were harassing us, they were killing people every now and then, every day, 20 people, 17 people, 20 people. Are you not aware that? that, that, that uh, yes, don't you think mm -hmm. that COVID-19 would have overrun, you know, the state of affairs, mm -hmm. and which is why the Fulanese themselves have also run? <laughs> no, the Fulanese have not run because today they are still harassing our people. They are still killing people up and down. So they are there. In fact, COVID-19 uh, uh, is uh, another problem that we are coping up with alongside the problem of uh, the health men, because they are still there harassing our people. And if not because of that action, and stamping his leg on the ground that, no, this cannot happen, you discover that it would have been a different case. So if anybody tells you that maybe the governor is playing politics with that one, what will they say? They will have to say that one. But the governor is not playing politics. He's, he's actually uh, doing what he's supposed to do to make sure that the Benue Valley is defended. So talk about the period that we're in, mm -hmm. which is COVID-19 lockdown mm -hmm. and uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. Do you think the state government is top of the game in I, dealing with the, the situ managing the situation? The, 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 I can tell you so because, I mean, immediately the problem started, so many actions were taken, including the setting up of, uh, of uh, the committee, you know, the, to, to, to take charge of uh, affairs of uh, uh, COVID-19. And I tell you, the committee has done a lot of work. Headed by who? Uh, the committee is the, headed by uh, the, the deputy governor, who is the chairman of the committee. The state uh, commissioner for health is the deputy chairman of that committee. And they have gone around sending all these uh, you know, sensitization programs, all these states, all the state, the local governments have a, what they call a COVID-19 committee. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, actions are taking sensitization here and there in our market, asking people to wash hands and so on and so forth. Are they maintaining social distance? Because they, what that, I've seen around, I don't see any distance, even on the ATM machines, on the queue. Mm -hmm. The market, some of the places, even places where they are said uh, they shouldn't be yeah. People hanging around together, they yeah. have decided to to stay. Are they maintaining social distancing? Sometimes they think that by government telling them to maintain social distancing or not doing this, not crowding in a place, not doing burial, not doing wedding, they think government is, is, is denying them certain rights that uh, they are supposed to have. Is Susan Okwe, mm -hmm. which is the index case reported from Berlin? Mm -hmm. What is the, the true status of Susan Okwe Lawani? The point is that uh, this question is better directed to the committee on this uh, 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 coronavirus uh, committee that uh, I told you that the deputy governor mm -hmm. is the chairman and the deputy chairman is the... They are the people who are in a position to know details about this matter. You understand? Because I, as a person, I don't even know the person they are talking about, not to talk of uh, how it happened. Because so uh, they say COVID-19, 14 days mm -hmm. incubation period, mm -hmm. yes. you have put in a place mm -hmm. for 14 days. Yes. On, until when the 14 days lapses, mm -hmm. that they know mm -hmm. exactly whether you're positive or not. Yes. And this lady has stayed there for more than over how many days? More mm -hmm. than 15 days, 20 days, 25 mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. And she is also an indigenous of Berenstein. That's right. And then it is not right that she's, she's been held back. Mm -hmm. You know, when she was taken away from Benue, rather than take her to Guagualada Hospital, mm -hmm. she was taken to National Hospital mm -hmm. Abuja. Mm -hmm. That is not what we know that mm -hmm. is the place for where she should have gone. Mm -hmm. She is not released back to her family and mm -hmm. she can go back to the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. as the case may be. That's right. You know, and you're mm -hmm. saying that you are not exactly, she's also from Benue. Yes. And uh, our sister. And that's why I see the, the question is very important. Yeah. But on the other hand, it's better to hear from this horse's mouth so that you do not go back with doubts in your mind. And the horse's mouth is Actually, the, the, the committee that I told you is physically in charge of this. They are the people who handle the matter, who knows 
what is happening, what is not happening, yeah. and so on and so forth there. Yeah. So I wish you can direct the question to the deputy governor and his group. They will be in a position to tell you the true position. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Professor Jerry Antonio Geda. Thank you, Sandy. You were my principal and we loved you so much and we always love talking with you. <laughs> and I'm, I'm proud that you are, any time I see any of my former students, I feel as if my head is touching the ceiling. <laughs> no matter how tall you are, I, I feel that you are, you are my own, my son. That's it. You know, and you must come down to recognize me yeah. as your father. Yeah. Jerry and Tony together, it's nice talking with you. Thank you very much. I want much. to remind you and inform you, okay. set 95 uh -huh. of Government College, Makudi, uh -huh. MOVA, uh -huh. Makudi Old Boys Association, uh -huh. is going to be celebrating 25 years after school. That's right. And that's going to be happening this December. That's right. And so I want to informally inform you. That's right. But when very soon the time is closed, mm -hmm. we will formally invite you. I will be there. Thank you very much. This is the Patriot and Television Nigerian, and we have been talking with a Patriot, Professor Anthony Jerry Agada. It is said that what a child sits on the tree and sees when a man sits down on the chair, he sees even more. He has held several positions in Nigeria. We will have another experience with him discussing very important issues again at another time. Until then, I want you to be patriotic. It's Peggy Shandy, TVN.